Okay, in this video we're going to do another example related to the derivative of the reciprocal function. So uh, we want to figure out at what point does the equation of the line tangent to the curve y equals 1 over x plus 2 have a slope of negative 2. So all we're going to have to do is just find the uh, a formula for the derivative and then set it equal to negative 2. So to do that we'll do the limit as h approaches 0. So we'll have f of x plus h, which will be 1 over x plus h plus 2, minus um, our original function, which is just going to be 1 over x plus 2, all over h. So um, what I'm going to do in this case is uh, notice our, I think we could go ahead and cancel out our 2's when we, when we expand things. So the plus 2 and the, uh, we would get a minus 2, so that would just cancel. And then we would be left with 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x all over h and then what we're going to do is just uh, similar to what we did in the last example um, is just get common denominators so we could multiply top and bottom of our first fraction just by x and then we could multiply top and bottom of the second fraction by x plus h Okay, and now again it's just a matter of sort of uh, simplifying the numerator of the numerator so we'll have the limit as h approaches 0. We'll have x minus this quantity x plus h in the top. We'll have our common denominator of x times x plus h. And still this is all being divided by h. So let's see, if we keep simplifying, um, in the numerator we'll have x minus x, which will just uh, give us 0. And then we'll still be left with our negative h over x times x plus h. But I think I'm going to do kind of, well, I don't know. Let's, let's make one more step. So again, we're dividing by h or h over 1. Um, so we can rewrite this as the limit as h approaches 0. We have negative h over x times x plus h. We'll multiply that by 1 over h. And here we can just simply cancel out the h's. So we'll be left with the limit as h approaches 0, negative 1 over x times x plus h. And now we can just simply substitute in h equals 0. And when we plug in h equals 0, we'll just be left with negative 1 over x times x, or negative 1 over x squared. So we want to figure out uh, where on the original graph uh, we wanted to figure out where on the original graph the slope of the tangent line equals negative 2. So we've now got a formula for our derivative. So all we have to do is uh, we have to solve. So we would take our derivative, negative 1 over x squared, and set that equal to, again, we said negative 2. So we could multiply both sides by uh, negative 1. That would give us 1 over x squared equals 2. Well, um, I'm going to multiply the x squared over. Um, I'm going to multiply the x squared over, and then I'm going to divide by 2. And the last thing I'm going to do now is just take a square root of both sides. So we would get positive negative square root of 1 over 2 equals x. And we could write this as positive negative. We could write, uh, take the square root of the numerator, which is just 1, over the square root of 2. And it actually tells us, well, there are two x-coordinates where, where the original graph will have a tangent line that has a slope of negative 2. Um, if you want to go back and figure out the corresponding y values, uh, we could just plug them in. So y would equal 1 over one of our solutions, which is 1 over square root of 2 plus 2. And then our other uh, y value would be 1 over, well, negative 1 over square root of 2 plus 2. I'm just plugging in um, our solutions here, positive, negative, 1 over square root of 2, back into the very original function, uh, again, just to get the corresponding y value as well. So, well, 1 over 1 over root 2 would just be square root of 2 plus 2. In the denominator, we would get negative square root of 2 plus 2. So I would say the points are, let's see, so when x was positive 1 over root 2, uh, we got the y-coordinate to be square root of 2 plus 2. 
and when y, excuse me, when x was equal to negative 1 over square root of 2, we figured out the corresponding y value to be negative square root of 2 plus 2. So two places where it happens, um, and that's it. So two different points where the slope of the tangent line is equal to negative 2.